Hartford Hospital and the CESI has invested a lot of time and money and personnel in order to try to improve patient outcomes. We identified early where our infection rate was quite high, our overutilization of the kits was a problem, so we were tasked with figuring out what the issues were and clearly we found out there was a training deficiency. Yeah, I can remember my first central line and actually my first actual central line was I, I, I had seen one, I've seen a couple, and I went right to the bedside and was kind of practicing on, on this poor patient. So they end up getting stuck 10, 20 times and they're adamant that they don't want another stick. The see one, do one, teach one, and then you graduate uh, needed to change. We want people to be very adept, very comfortable, very safe from the first time they're ever doing it on a real patient. Having a, a tool to practice on that is not going to hurt every needle stick is uh, something invaluable. We looked at many different companies looking at products. What I was looking for is a product that's reliable, dependable, durable, that's going to give me the longevity that I'm not replacing skins constantly. When our team from the simulation center went off to evaluate equipment. Their major criteria was durability, uh, realism, and cost of the equipment in order to make what we felt was the best investment for our institution. I decided to buy one task trainer and beat it up and actually see if it was worth the investment. After a lot of trial and error, we ended up choosing the Blue Phantom product for our central line training, taking into account those factors in addition to having what we felt to be a very good and realistic ultrasound image. The, the Blue Phantom was, was very durable, it was clear from the start, there was no leaking in the fluid. It did live up to the expectations and it, and it lives on still with us eight years now. The Blue Phantom products um, have been an invaluable resource here at Hartford Hospital um, as well as at Yale where I trained for fellowship. If we didn't have these I don't think the residents would be where they are today in their ultrasound skills. Just last week I had a second year resident who had had three central lines in a row that just went poorly and we went up here and we spent 20 minutes just going over and over again doing the central line on the Blue Phantom products and the next day she came to my office, she ran in, gave me a big, big hug and said, I just got a central line, it went so well. Every one of my products in here because of what I found with the central line trainer has evolved into all of my Blue Phantom products. I only use one ultrasound device and that's Blue Phantom. There, there's even a little bit steeper of a learning curve with the phantoms, so then when they do get to the patient, they find it a lot easier, uh, which is exactly how it should be. It should never be the reverse. They can make a lot of mistakes and learn from their mistakes in a very safe environment. So for a novice, it's gigantic. If the institution that you're working for is going to commit to ultrasound training, you will see a decrease in bloodstream infections. I know if, I, if we get a blue phantom, it's going to be quality. I know that it's going to be durable. We've trained several hundred or even thousands of students ranging from medical student all the way through practicing physicians on the technology here in the center and I think our patients are better off for it. It's very self-healing, it's very durable, and it's reliable. If the Blue Phantom was as committed to patient safety as we were, I wouldn't be using them.